I'm Barb. Welcome to my craft studio. I wanted to share days, I believe it's 12 through 18 of the 100 day project. I've been sharing on YouTube and if you follow me there, you can see my projects daily, but I thought I'd pop on once a week on YouTube and share what I've done for that week. Day 12, I made these bunny napkin rings. This was a free file from Dreaming Tree. I seen somebody in the Dreaming Tree group took these, enlarged them, and made like headbands for young kids. They were really cute. <laughs> My daughter had younger students. I might have to try that. Um, the next one was, I did four of these, and they are personalized with our names on them. They're Easter basket place cards to put like at your Easter table with the names on it and you can fill it with little treats. I've got bigger treats in there so the names don't show as well, but if you just left that one out, you could see everybody. I figured I'd give my daughters one, me and hubby one for Easter because we're having Easter at our house. So um, the next one was this Easter, I think it's called Bunny Hop. It's a quilt block pattern that I got free from the sewing loft. Now I don't think it's free anymore because each week she comes out with a new one and it's free for that week and then after that she charges for them but I got it during its free week um, and I made it into a hot pad to put hot dishes on. So that was, so now I have two, I have two different designs. But um, they're her blocks to quilt. You, she gives you the pattern for 6 or 12 inches, and I did it in the 12 inch patterns because I wanted it big enough for a hot pad. Um, the next one is this cute little Easter card from Dreaming Tree. This one was part of his latest bundle, so this one's a paid file. The treat mat box I forgot to mention was also from Dreaming Tree. I believe this was another freebie file. Yeah, he had two freebie freebie files this time. He had the Easter treat place card and the napkin rings. And this was part of his latest bundle. You can either buy each of the items in it separately or you can buy it as the bundle. I usually just buy the bundle. So that's the latest one. I'm just going to use this as decoration because I think it's really cute. So that's why I made it. Um, Next up is, I did treat bags for my daughter's class and the neighbor's kids. The ones for my daughter's class, she's already taken. I've got to get the ones to the neighbor's kids delivered. But I added the pinwheel. I made this with my We Are Memory Keeper punch board. They do spin really well. So, the neighbor kids love those. I don't know how my daughter's students feel about it. They might be a little bit old, but I think they just like getting something. So the next one is, you've probably remembered seeing all, if you've watched before, all the different bunny blocks that I made. I took it and made it. It's a really long runner, but um, downstairs I have a 12 cube. It's like a, it's kind of similar to a Calyx, but it's by Better Homes and Gardens because I could get free shipping from Walmart for it. And I keep all of my, like my crock pots and my instant pots there. What else is up there? My mixer. So I wanted to make it long enough so that it would hang off the edge so you would see some of the bunnies. And I really think they look cute once you add the eyes in. So that's day. 17 and the last day was the Mad Hatter treat box. I'm not sure how I feel about my paper selection, but um, this one here happened to be the only one I had. I don't have that many multiples of pattern paper and that was the only one I really, I think I needed three, three sheets, I think, if I remember right, and that's the only one I happened to have three sheets of. So it won by process of elimination. <laughs> So that, and there's a little hole in the bottom of the box so that you can pull that out because it makes a little treat box. This would have been, would be really cute if you were a um, Alice in Wonderland fan to do up 
like the Mad Hatter's hat, find papers that would work for that. Be really cool if you had the, um, I think Graphic 45 had a line of paper based upon Alice in Wonderland. It would have been really cute done in those if you'd had it. But anyways, that is days 12 through 18 of the 100 day challenge. I'm filming this on Thursday, even though I went through Friday, but I probably won't post it till tomorrow. But anyways, uh, thanks for joining me. Hop on over, follow me on Instagram so you can see what I'm doing every day. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.